What's up everyone, Jay here, and today I'm giving you a video that's kind of a, uh, a little bit of an experiment that I did a while ago, where uh, before I actually water-cooled my PC, I wanted to know if the, uh, the CPU cooler orientation mattered as far as temperature goes, or if it's really just an aesthetics kind of thing. So, I ran a, uh, a small test where I essentially overclocked my processor to 4.8 gigahertz and ran an IDA64 stress test that way. And then I flipped the, uh, the CPU cooler and did the exact same thing over again and uh, compared the results. So let's, uh, let's see how that turns out. All right, so I've got IDA64 up. Uh, you can see here we just kind of have some idle temps. Um, here we can see the fans. I've got the CPU fan, which is pegged at 100%, and then the chassis fans are set to 50%. One of them is a Corsair AF140, and the other two are Noctua uh, NF140s, whatever the whatever the thing the thing is that tells you whatever the name for the Noctua 140s. But anyway, that's that's why the uh, the Noctuas are running slightly faster than the than the Corsair. So that's why. You can see we're running at a 4.8 gigahertz overclock and we have the uh, starting out numbers. So let's get this thing started and see what happens. Okay, so we can see we got our uh, ADA64 stress test running over here, capturing it on OBS. And we have our system closed up with the uh, CPU cooler in the horizontal position. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and it looks like the temperatures have pretty much stabilized. We can see that the CPU itself hit about 85 degrees and then the cores hit 89, 92, 87, and 85. The one that hit 92 is always a little bit hotter than the rest. So looks like we got some temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. So now we'll go ahead and flip the CPU cooler into the vertical orientation and see if that affects the CPU temperatures any differently. Alright, well, ADA64 has now been running for about 10 minutes, and it looks like the CPU temperatures have stabilized. So for the vertical orientation test, the CPU in general was a maximum of 78 degrees, and then the cores were 82, 85, 80, and 79. So if you remember before, the, uh, the first temperature for the CPU was 85, and then 89, 92, 87, and 85. So we're looking at a five to seven degrees Celsius difference. So I have to say that I am, uh, I am pretty surprised with those results. I really didn't think it would matter at all, but the, uh, the temperatures came out to like five, like literally five to seven degrees difference. And that was across all of the cores and the, uh, I guess just the general CPU temperature as well. Um, I have a, uh, a couple, couple ideas on why that could be. And I know one of the questions will be, did you take ambient temperature readings? And the answer is going to be, no, I didn't. Um, but the, uh, the tests were done two days in a row. Uh, they, they, the tests were done two days in a row. Um, they were both done at the same time in the morning before I had to start work. So the apartment, the room that my computer was in was, should have been the same temperature within a degree or two Fahrenheit. So certainly not five to seven degrees Celsius. So what kind of conclusion can we draw from this? And somebody's here. Is it? Hmm. <clears throat> My wife just brought me a Starbucks. So what kind of a conclusion can we draw from this? Um, I would say that in a certain case, so depending on the case, 
depending on the airflow, and maybe even depending on whether or not the uh, the processor is overclocked, the CPU cooler orientation could matter. I'm actually, now that it's kind of a thing, like this could be a thing, um, I do have a, uh, a locked uh, i7-4770, and I still have my CPU cooler, and I have a different case, so I might try to run the tests all over again just to see if I get the uh, the same or different results. But I think if you're trying to go for the lowest temperatures that you can, um, it's it's probably worth experimenting a little. You know, try the uh, the CPU cooler in one orientation, then try it in another. And uh, generally, the uh, the CPU coolers and everything and little tubes of uh, of uh, thermal thermal material, thermal paste, come with enough to to do it two or three times. So uh, so yeah, just mess around with it, see what works best for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll uh, see you in the next one.